Two weeks from today, All-Star Week begins here in Seattle. Thousands of fans will be visiting the city, but before they show up, people will be rolling up their sleeves today to tidy up Seattle. Yeah, hundreds of volunteers are gathering at T-Mobile this morning to get ready for a community cleanup event. King 5's Angelique Cockaday, live at the ballpark this morning. Angelique, how many people are pitching in to help, and what areas are they targeting? Well, Jake, I'm told 400 volunteers are signing up for this community cleanup effort today. That was as of last night, though, so that number could be even higher this morning. And those volunteers are going to be spread across different areas. They're going to be highly trafficked during those week-long festivities. Take a look at your screen for those four areas. It's going to be Soto, Pioneer Square, the China, uh, Chinatown International District, and the waterfront. Now, the Seattle Chamber of Commerce, which is hosting today's cleanup along with Together Washington and the Seattle Mariners, Says the city could see 100,000 visitors during the All-Star Games game, generating $50 million in economic impact. And with those kinds of numbers, the goal for today is picking up litter, removing graffiti, some landscaping and weeding. But listen, we know crime is also up in Seattle. Just here in Soto alone in 2022, 1,063 incidences of violent crime and 307 this year, just as of May 31st. That's according to Seattle Police. Still, Rachel Smith with the Chamber says big events like the All-Star Game is a way to bring people together and that's worth celebrating. We want to encourage people to be buoyed by the, the good things that we're seeing and continue to, to hold leaders accountable and make sure that we make even more progress and that we make it more urgently. Now those volunteers will be gathering at the parking garage across from T-Mobile here between 8.30 and 9. I'm told they do have enough volunteers, but there's always room for more. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to head out this morning. For now, they're reporting live in Seattle. Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News. Thank you.